Yo, what is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joking Johnson. If you want, today we're going to be talking about the Cleveland Browns from the NFL and uh, going to be talking about the week one that they, they almost won. I mean, they did an incredible comeback. It's just one of those games that you know you just couldn't miss. I saw the highlights and goddamn, and I was really surprised. So, um, and also make sure you enjoy the gameplay in the background. It's pretty much awesome, the gauntlet mode. And uh, if you guys don't know what the gauntlet mode is, make sure you go to Skills Trainer and you know, just choose a team. It'll take you to the next menu, which is the gauntlet mode. And, um, you know, just go all, scroll all the way to the right. You should be able to find gauntlet mode there. So, enjoy the gameplay. Enjoy the gameplay. I did go very far with the Cleveland Browns. So, anyways, week one. What did we see? I mean, the first half, it looked like a disaster team. That's, what it, that's how it looked. I mean, come on. Brian Horn wasn't doing crap. The first three drives. Uh, no running game, no passing game, no defense. Everything was getting destroyed from the Cleveland Browns. It was just dumb. And then we got over here a Twitter guy called the Oppressor. He was actually <laughs> tweeting the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. He told me, he said, "Put it, put in Johnny Manziel, you bald-headed fuck." Just go follow the Oppressor, guys. You should, you should be able to see in the, in the description, guys. Uh, Oppressor. Uh, click his Twitter name and follow him. He's a big fan of the Cleveland Browns and he also says a bunch of shit like a bunch of random stuff and you'll love him. It's just hilarious and whatever he does is just hilarious. He also has his YouTube channel by the way. Make sure you click it and uh, in, in, make sure you type it in the YouTube so you guys can know who El Presador is. He's a pretty much of a straight up guy. <laughs> like an angry straight up guy. It's just, it's just insane. I like his style. So anyways. So he also came out on the news, by the way, because he called in a bald headed fuck, and then he just just went. The news just went at it like some certain uh, news of the internet and stuff. It's just hilarious. So anyway, so the Cleveland Browns, you know, pretty much in the second half was a different team of Week One. It was just a different team. It looked like the, the like the like the New England Patriots at some point. They did. I mean, the way they scored up more than 21 points in the third quarter kind of looked like the New England Patriots. Of the year 2007 or 2008, I don't know. I forgot which one it was when they, you know, went undefeated. But yeah, they looked like the goddamn Patriots. I mean, the Hoyer, Brian Hoyer, was a backup for for uh, Tom Brady, so pretty much he has that kind of mentality going on, you know. So, how did this happen actually? How? The first half it was the disaster team. The second half it looked like a like the Oscar team. Like, are you kidding me, bro? I mean, that's how they're supposed to play in every single game, you know, with motivation and everything. So I don't know what the hell motivate them. I don't know what kind of speech that Mike Patin gave to these players, but they look like a freaking all-star team, a team that I would like to have, that I would like to go for. They look very strong, man. They look like they know what they were doing compared to the first half. Like, it was just a bunch of chickens without their head. So, I don't know. But at some point, people wanted Johnny Menzel in. And then Brian Hoyer, out of nowhere, he just pulls this shit out of his ass and let's just fucking play. And he fucking played. But at the end, they ended up losing by a, by three points, I believe. They lost by a little. But it felt like the Browns won. It felt like the confidence was actually built up and they won like that. Like, we got motivation now. Let's take it to next week. So that's what's worrying me right now, guys. Will the Browns... And also, it is the question of the day. Of the weekend, by the way. Will the Browns actually take all that motivation, all that build-up, towards next week? That's my question to you guys. Will they actually win week two? Because they look like the New England Patriots at some point. So, leave a like, leave a comment, leave your opinion about the Cleveland Browns because they do look like a freaking championship team. But, will they actually carry it week after week after week? I believe Brian Hoyer will actually start the next four weeks, but I don't know. I believe like so at some point he's going to make majorly screw up. I mean, I, these guys are very bipolar as hell to be like losing so bad in the first half and then just come out of nowhere and look like a championship tip in the second half. I mean, it's just insane. So leave a like, guys, and leave your opinion. I would like to hear, hear you guys. And um, and it's an incredible gameplay in the background. I think I should have gone further than round 14, so... Bente is pretty good, by the way. It's pretty quick. I don't know how I messed up right there. So, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Madden 15.